Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to quickly show you a very simple way to, to create some um, random um, buttons. So, so for example, here I have this uh, beam system with uh, some timber uh, buttons at 200 uh, spacing uh, center. So what I need to do is I create this little um, script and run uh, well started yeah and just wait for, for a few seconds I think what's going on here oh yeah oh, sorry yeah so now we have all all these patterns are random spacing now yeah okay so let's start so I'll just uh, close all this and uh, we'll start from scratch scratch okay so close this um, so now first I'm going to create a project and uh, I'll just create a wall and then let's I'll just do a, a structure beam system set work plan pick work plan okay pick this wall face and i'll just create some a shape and then i'll just pick the direction at this edge so it goes vertical um, and also i'll change this um, spacing to 200 instead of so um i'll temporarily hide this hh temporary hide the wall so as you can see that's a still a uh, beam uh, Let's load go structure beam load family on the structure framing. Okay, on the structure framing wood, I'll just pick one and maybe just this one. And okay, now escape, select this beam system. Okay, use tab and change this uh, beam type to timber. So now we have all these timber beams. Okay, so now the next step, we're going to create some a little tool for us. So uh, before I cre uh, before I create this the Dynamo, I'll just move this a little bit here. Okay, so rabbit. So click on one of this uh, beam. Okay, so and uh, here we have this Y offset value here. So if we type in um, uh, 100, it will go this way. If you type negative 100, it will go that way. So of course, uh, you can also use the uh, Z offset if you want to. If if you want to offset it in that way, you can do that as well. So now let me just change that both to zero for now. So now. Let's create this one. So new, and first we're going to pick this uh, family. So this is a dimension number. So right, I'll change this to menu for now. Okay. So right click. Oh, oh sorry. We can just go here. Rabbit selection, and then family type. Family types. So under here, type L number. So we show. Oh, L, oh sorry. Dimension D. Typing D. See, it's here. So now, now click on all elements of a family types and link these two. And if I click run, so you will see all, all the uh, member, all these uh, uh, beams are in this list. So that's 81 total. So if I select all, let's say, let's see, 81. Yeah, so good. Um, so now we just need to set parameter by name. So right click, type in set parameter by name. And then element, element. Parameter name is, is this Y offset. So just double click, quotation um, Y to make sure lowercase Y, uh, capital uh, O offset. Yeah, so value quotation and link that to parameter name. Okay, 
and then value. So for the value, we are going to create a list. So for this one, because that spacing is 200, I, I think I'll just to create a list from one negative 100 to uh, positive um, 100 and every one. And so if I run, so you will see this this list, what this list is. So this list starts from negative 100 to 100 and every one. Okay, so and then I'll link this, link this to, oh, sorry, before I link that, because we want um, a random one. So right click, shuffle and then list and if i run you'll see the number will be uh, random it's now random yeah and i'll link this to this and then you can click run and you will see the patterns now it's random okay um yeah that's it and of, of course for example um so maybe let me try let's try Z. So I'll control C, control V, and I'll change this to Z. So let's do something. Um, I'll create another one. Control so I'll copy this as well. Sorry, um, I'll select these two. Control C, control V, and I'll create I'll have a look around and see if these lists so and actually you can see here these two lists are different see different so yep that's that's fine so I'll have this here so and uh, I'll create another one so this is for uh, y value or y offset and then control C control V and I'll just use element the same that's okay parameter name i'll link this to z okay and the value to this one so now if i run again so you can see uh, not only the y direction is random so if you go look at this one at this uh, z direction is random as well so okay so that's it um yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.